And so, I mean, uh, to do a little hyping up, this is my favorite system in the game. Like this, this, the classing is, it's not the equipment, hilariously, I'm aware. Oh, the I equipment, uh, I mean, the equipment is pretty simplistic. Yeah, it, yeah, I mean, look, that did make me a little sad. I'm not going to lie. I completely understand why it is. It kind of needs works. to be. Yeah. The game itself is, I mean, it's not rules light, but it is a simple game. There are a couple noodly bits, you know, it's, the bonds are a little noodly, the fabulas a little noodly. But on the whole, in my opinion, the game is quite simple for what it is. And I feel like that's probably by design. I mean, almost certainly by design. Yeah, I mean, it's but intended yes. to be it's intended to be relatively. Um, it's intended to it's intended to be approachable in the same way that a JRPG is approachable at the beginning, right? Like, that's the idea. Yes. Now, JRPGs often don't stay that way, but. You know. No, no, they do not. Uh, but yes, without further ado, let me hype this shit up. So, you know, when you play games like D&D, you go, you have an idea for the character you want to make in your head, right? You go, oh, well, I want to be kind of like a spell sword. I want to be, you know, slanging fireballs and, and flip flipping my my rapier or katana or whatever. And then you very quickly realize that, you know, uh, Eldritch Knight is not the vibe that you want. It's a, it's there in an outline, but the, the minutia of that thing you want really isn't involved, and that's kind of frustrating, so you kind of have to work around the limitations of the game. I'm not saying that that's not a thing in this game. Yeah, you still have but to it work is within a, a degree of limitation, for sure. Yes, but it is relieved exponentially by the fact that there are 15 classes, I believe, at standard, and supplements. you're allowed to mix and match wherever you want. If you want to make uh, like a smooth talking gun slinging, you know, Spike Spiegel character, you can do that. You take a couple levels of Tinkerer for the gun. You take some sharpshooter for the aim. Maybe you take a couple levels in Fury, which is like the monk equivalent for that hand to hand combat. Oh, wait. But then you take Orator for your, you know, shit talking ability. And you effectively filled out every corner of that thing that you need to make Spike Spiegel. And yes, you're still going to have to use some good old, good old fashioned imagination and flavor to really zhuzh it up. But you have effectively filled every niche that you need to fill. If you want to play, uh, you know, my favorite class in Final Fantasy ever is always going to be Summoner. They tell you how to make it. You could you take three levels in Arcanist to start and then two levels in Spiritus. That way you are using the Spiritus ability to conjure creatures and pull them out of nowhere. And then you're mixing that with uh, the Arcanist ability to actually materialize creatures and summon them well, and, and fight with them. And the Arcanist ability to have like your special pet summon, like your, your main dude. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah. Your primary Your funny summon. little guy. Yes. Your Bahamut. And those things together. Your Valifor. Yeah. Sir, we are, we are Efrit stands in this house. I mean, I mean, listen, you can be an Efrit stand all you want, but Yuna at the end of the day is always depicted with Valifor. So I know it's, it's kind of kind of like it is her, the first summon she gets. It's the first it's summon. It's also the first game Valifor appears ever. It, the first and only. Uh, no, I he's think. been in a couple other things. Has he? Yeah. Little, 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 little tidbit show ups here and there. Only, only a few, I, though. Very few. I love that little lizard chicken. <laughs> lizard bird chicken thing. Yeah, it look it it does weird spinnies with the uh, chakra varten on its back and makes meteor strikes. I, I don't know, it, it does things. I think I think Valfor is also a, a design like I think he's associated with she's associated with Yuna because design wise she has a lot of like elements from Yuna as well as being a female summon. True, I can see that. that. Yeah, yeah, weird bird titties. Yeah, weird bird titties and even weirder bird ar arm hook thingies arm hooks are cool they kind of gross me out i'm not gonna lie <laughs> love them forget that she has legs i just i imagine her constantly yes. without having legs she has those well she's actually it's funny you say that because in Dissidia, when you one of your basic attacks is you some because yuna and Dissidia duodecim is like she summons all of her different summon like all her different attacks are the summons and mm -hmm. they she summons them from the waist up so like when you summon Valifor, it's just big wings. 
You know, oh, like nice. They don't summon the bottom half of it because the idea is she's like summoning them really fast. Mm-hmm. We yeah, should put Valifor on the on the thumbnail. It's because. Yeah, to give it some love. God knows that most of the other games don't. <laughs> I mean. Weird. Anyway, where are we? Chicken lizard. <laughs> I'm just I'm looking at it. It's weird. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how else I can talk this up. It, it it gives you damn near infinite potential to create the character you want to make as long as you're OK with playing, you know, reasonably within the, the you know, draw within the lines. And the lines are quite expand. Or, 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 sorry, the lines are quite minimalistic and very thick. You don't have to worry about drawing inside them that much, frankly. Yeah, and the the main thing is that you can mix and match so many because you're going to get because you're going to get so many levels. Oh, actually, so max level is 50, but you can only go to level 10 in any one class. Yes. So you're going to max out the class that's like your main shtick at some point, and then you're going to have to branch into something else. So you're going to sort of. You are forced to sort of add facets to your character no matter what. Um, And at the beginning of the game, if you really don't want to make any decisions, they give you what they call classic. They give you a list of classic characters and they basically list you out a bunch of jobs that have have been in Final Fantasy is pretty much what they did. Um, And they have a lot like so they have, you know, Dark Knight, Alchemist, Black Black Knight, Knight, Gambler, Gambler, Gunslinger. Uh, I really pref- I'm a, I'm a big fan of Red Sorcerer. I I thought you'd be laugh at that one. Or, or Monster Mage. Monster Mage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um So yeah, it's like they 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 give you they essentially give you a list. If you don't want to make a decision at the beginning of the game in character creation, they give you a list of classes, like class packages that they made. And then from there you could just You know, as you play the game, you're going to have some ideas, I'm sure, down the road about what you want to do. And then you pick up whatever abilities you want after that. It is very it is quite fun. Uh, And and I like the I like the class package suggestions because it does help you really narrow down what. um, It helps you think about like, okay, I don't have a strong idea and then it point it pushes you in a direction is fun yeah i mean you if you have even the slightest knowledge of final fantasy you know you'll look at i I don't know i'm trying to think what's a good one i mean shit you look at uh, red sorcerer and if you played any final fantasy you played 14 you go oh that's what ali say is oh she's a she's a red mage yeah yeah, okay so wait this is how you make a red mage oh sick and then you look at it and you, you make it but then you go oh wait but i really like you know insert thing here i like that squall uses gun blades so you can take a couple levels in tinkerer to get a well, gun blade I, I i believe i believe gunbreaker got added to the i think it was i think it might be the techno fantasy one as gunbreaker let me check i i don't know off the top of my head let me let me double I think check i saw quick. it somewhere on the patreon mentioning a gun blade guy um it's yeah it, actually in fact if anyone's played final fantasy 14 there's a ton of final fantasy 14 in this game in general a, a lot, yeah. There's like, a lot frankly, of that. a comical amount. A lot of that oozing. Oozing. Mm. Is it ooh? Mm. What else do I want to bring? Oh, yes. If you ever, if you uh, max out a class, yeah, yeah, you are given something called a heroic skill, which is separate than like a limit break because those are in the game. They're very funny. But they are sort of a penultimate skill that is designed to sort of, defined? Fuck me. Is designed to sort of bring out the best in that particular class. So, for example, you have things like uh, Chimeric Mastery. You learn new spells from your list and you get an increased spell limit. Uh, Entropist gets Comet, which I'm pretty sure is just the Meteor spell. It's, it's just basically a limit break. Probably. Probably. Uh, Arcanist gets your uh, your Wondrous Arcana or your what's it called? Not Wondrous Arcana. Big dumb, help me out here. Uh, what's I, it called? 
the what the the heroic skill for the arcanist yeah to get like your actual summon oh oh uh ba, 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 arcane echo nope no uh uh you put me on the spot i wasn't even in that I, section i, I, I the put PDF. myself on the spot don't worry revelation uh, Oh, it's not. It's in the high fantasy book. It's uh, it, uh, ah. I mean, it, I'm a fool. Truly. OK, truly foolish. Look, I am not looking at that PDF. That's fine. No, I understand. <laughs> I, yep. Okay. They are they're essentially epic boons or feats. They're they're designed to yeah, shift the way boons. that class is played to to give them more options. And that's very cool. I would definitely say and a lot of them. Yeah, they, yeah, there are they are close to every. Oh, wait, hold on. No. Yeah. Hold on. I'm looking at the comment one. Uh, to cast Comet, you have must have mastered the Entropist class. You learn the ultimate Entropist seal, Comet. You rip open a large uh, portal to the cosmos, calling down astral debris from the gaping void. Mm, gaping. <laughs> Choose an yeah. option. One creature you see suffers 60 damage, or you choose any number of uh, creatures you see, and each of them takes 40 damage. These amounts increase by 5 if you are 20 levels or higher, or, or by 10 if you are 40 levels or higher. I'm going to keep it honest with you. I most NPCs have health equal to level. No. I don't think No, they don't. Do they not? Oh no, 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 sorry. Uh your companions have their health is equal to your level. My bad. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like, that's definitely not a thing. Be- monster stat blocks. In fact, if 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 you're making it a uh what is it, soldier elite or a commander, the elite and commanders multiply their health by two. Yeah. Definitely not. But for this, mo- just uh, as a quick peruse through uh, help, I, I don't think there are any soldier class enemies, which are the lowest, but that does not mean they are weak. I don't think any of them have more than 60 HP. <laughs> that uh, will just well, sort of evaporate. So, yeah, so the bestiary, the way it works is that um, every example they give are soldier class enemies, and then it tells you how you upgrade from a soldier to one of the higher level enemy. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, every example is a soldier enemy. That's scary. Um, oh, interesting that they have different levels then. Yes, it tells it talks about that too. Because hmm. a, a level 20 soldier type creature is not necessarily the same thing as a level 10 soldier. Yes. Um, but yes, it tells you how to upgrade them. And I will say the upgrading and monster fuckery creation stuff is quite good. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I haven't read it in a while. Uh, we were I was planning on doing another episode about this where we're going to go over the GM stuff and the all that fun nitty gritty. So uh, that'll be a next week as they are reading situation. But from what I do remember from when I read it about a year ago. Yes, it's very cool. It's very in-depth and it's actually not. Important. It's actually quite easy to use. That's kind of why I like it. No, yeah, exactly. Well, I was going to say it's a oh no, the word just intuitive. It's very intuitive. It can yes. be in-depth and intuitive. Um, anyway, long story short, heroic skills cool. Heroic skills very fucking cool. Especially because they actually incentivize you to max out a class, which is a thing that D&D has problems with. Yes. Almost like maybe the level 20 ability should be really cool, D&D, to yeah, make me want to yeah, get them. They should be, and they ain't. Master of combat. Master of combat, baby. <laughs> Master of combat.